In this video, we're going to take a look at um, a technique which can be useful when we're thinking about the intersection of planes. Now, we're going to we're going to find the line of intersection of just two planes, but if you think about what we were doing earlier on matrices as well, like if you're thinking about when three planes intersect along a line, you know, you've, you've, you've thought about the determinant, the determinant equals zero. Then you figure out that the equations are consistent with each other. Like we could have a situation where all three planes intersect along the line, but it, the same works if we just when two planes intersect. Because all we're trying to do is find the equation of this line here. And we could have three planes going through, we could have two planes that are going through. It doesn't really matter, we just want to figure out what this line itself is. Okay, so if you think about it, we're trying to find the equation of this line where the two planes intersect. We need to know two things. We need to know a point on the line, and we need to know a direction that the line's going in. And if we can do that, we've defined this line, haven't we? Okay, the thing about this is, if you think about it, be because the line itself lies within both of the planes, like my diagram's not perfect, but if you think about plane one and the normal vector, the line here, because it lies within plane one, it, the line with that line clearly is going to be perpendicular to the normal vector, isn't it? Also, plane two, the normal vector would be this way. The line lies within the plane two, so the normal vector would be also perpendicular to that line. So what we've got when we've got two planes, if we, know, if we know these two normal vectors, the line itself, the direction of that line, it's perpendicular to both of these. So, so we can use the cross product. Like, if we know two vectors that are perpendicular to this line, if we cross product these two vectors, it's going to tell me the direction of that line, isn't it? Because don't forget, when you cross product two vectors, it gives you the vector that's perpendicular to both of those. And clearly this line is perpendicular to both. So if we do a cross product, it'll tell us the direction. Okay, so looking at the planes, we've got 1, 1 minus 2. Cross product to 1, 2, 1. And if we cross product these two normal vectors, it's going to tell me the direction of this line. Okay, so cover up and then we get 1 minus, minus 4, minus 1. Minus minus two, two minus one. Okay, so the direction would be five, three minus three, minus one. So that tells me the direction of this line that we're trying to find. Okay, the red pen, <laughs> I think the red pen's given up. So if you think about the direction of this line, it's going in the direction 5 minus 3 minus 1. Okay, so now that we've done that, like we know the direction of the line, we need to figure out the points on the line. Now, obviously, depending on what the exam question is set up, like, like I'm just doing this is just a general technique. Like, quite often in the exam, you already know a point on the line, like you might know a point where they intersect or something. But if we didn't, in this case, we don't. We need to figure out a point somewhere along this line. And we can use any point we want. Like We could literally pick anywhere. Um, so the key to doing this now is to just simplify the equations. Like Because we've got essentially the planes. Uh, there's two equations, but there's three unknowns, isn't there? Like somewhere along this line, we could say, well, if x is 0, let's figure out what y and z are. Or we could say, well, maybe somewhere else along the line, you know, y would be 0. And we, we, if we can just if we eliminate one of the variables, we can just solve these two equations to figure out um, a, a general, not a general point, a specific point somewhere along this line. Uh, what should be set equal to zero? Not that it really matters. I'm going to say z zero. So somewhere along the line, if I said z equals zero, we can figure out what the corresponding x and y values would be. So we'd say, well, therefore x plus y would equal five. X plus two y would equal seven. And then if we subtract this one from this one, that would tell me y would equal 2. Yeah. GCSE style of simultaneous equations. If I did 2 minus 1, I know y equals 2, so therefore x equals 3. So I've got a point on my line, like the point that it goes to would be 3, 2, 0. The direction the line's going in is... 5 minus 3 minus 1. So we could say, therefore, an equation of the line would be r would equal point on the line 3, 2, 0 plus constant times by direction of the line 5, 
add minus three. Minus one. Okay. There's there's actually loads of ways that you can answer this question. You, you can actually just find two points on the line. Like if you want to say, well, let's let Z equal zero find the points, let's let Y equal zero find the points. If you know two points on the line, you can you, you know it's just like last year that isn't it? You you can find the direction the line's going and just get the direction between the two points. Um but I just thought it would be nice to think about it from a cross product perspective. Because sometimes in the exam the way it's set up, it might sort of lead you down that route. You know, so the key thing to remember is <laughs> this intersection for these two planes. It's going to be per it's perpendicular to both of the normal vectors. So if you cross if you if you've already cross producted the two planes, the normal vectors, you already know the direction of this line. So that could be really useful. All right, thanks guys.